hello and welcome to my new series which is called Red Everest Challenge. Now, for a ghost of me you might be asking, Bonner, who is this Red Everest fella? Well, I'll tell you who he is, shall I? He's the man who holds the record for the longest serving manager of the football club of all time. He was in charge of West Brom for an incredible 46 years between 1902 and 1948. In that time, he won the league title in 1920 and the FA Cup in 1931. Obviously, things were a little bit different back then. So, the team, for example, the team selection was made by a committee of board members, so he wasn't the typical manager by today's standards, with his job being far more administrative than a typical football manager today. But he did take control of training, setting formations, and taking charge of the team during the um, during the matches. So, how is this series going to be done? Well, I'm glad you asked. The aim of the save is simple. It's to stay at one club for 46 full seasons. So, obviously, because Fred Everest was the manager of West Brom, I'm going to take control of West Brom and see if I can match his feet to stay at West Brom for 46 full seasons. Obviously, with this in mind, I've had to set the base space out a little bit differently than I normal, normally would. So, I've only selected the English League and we'll show you. Um, so only the English League, so from Vanarama National North and South all the way up to the Premier League have been selected. I've also enabled the players with continental reputation and above from Europe, South America, North America, Asia, Africa and Oceania. So we've got a bit of a wider database. We've only got about 20,000 players. That's going to be plenty for us. Um, as I say, we're, we're only being a one club man, so we're not looking at job offers, so we don't need to load the other leagues up. Obviously, what I want to do is, because this is going to be a 46 year phase, fingers crossed, I wanted to make sure that the game speed was as fast as possible. So I didn't want processing taken up by working out who's one area base, for example. So we'll just concentrate on the English league. We're in charge of an English club and that's where we're going to stay. I have set some rules up for this um, for this challenge. I don't, don't want to just sit and play it how I normally would. So, obviously, as I said earlier, Fred Everest wouldn't have picked the team. He would have picked the formation and everything, and I'm going to be just that. So, I will choose the I will choose the formation. It's probably going to be the 4-5-1 that I've got to use in, or the 4 3 2 Four three one two. Sorry, I've been playing. Um, probably depending on who we've got, it'll probably be that formation. Once we've split formation mentality and everything, we'll be using the quick pick bu button. So, quick pick to simulate the board of directors choosing who's going to play. We'll play the match. Afterwards, we'll come back and we'll clear the entire team selection ready for the next game. So every time. We may get the same start to live in every match. We may be rotating constantly. Who who knows? I ha I don't have control of it. My board have control, and that's how it's going to be. As for scouting, now we will use the scout screen to get to where we need to be, but we're not going to use the all known players tab. That's off limits to us. The only players we're going to be allowed to sign are the ones we've we've actually got information on and scouted. If we have a look at some of these that we don't know, we should see the tribute masking has been turned on. So if I do get the urge to cheat a little bit and start dipping, dipping in, I've got a backup for that as well. So we're going to be sending the scouts out all over the world looking for talent. Hopefully, £16 million budget and 174000 a week left. We should be able to get some decent players before we start the series. And um, we'll go from there. Now, let's say we're looking at four to six seasons. I want to break that down, and I don't want the series to be boring, essentially. So I don't want to be doing four or five videos per season, because then you're going to see 200 West Brom videos, probably all of us in the Premier League, and it is going to get very tedious. So what I'm going to do is I'll do three or four videos per season. Do the start of the season just to show you the summer arrivals, how we've got on in pre season, how we how we're looking to line up, then we'll play the first match of the season. We'll do a mid season review 
as we approach Christmas and we'll show where we are in the table, how our players have performed. We'll probably play a Boxing Day feature uh, fixture because everyone loves a Boxing Day match. And we'll definitely do an end of season review. So we'll play the last game of the season and then we'll see where we finished in the league, who our top performers were, and who's leaving, things like that. Now, I did say three or four. The fourth one may be Every now and then we might throw in a January transfer special. So on the deadline day, if we've got some signings in mind, I might leave them till transfer deadline day, see if we can get them over the line and brought in. Just just to add a little bit of signing to the mix. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go away now. I'll set up all the, all the scouting so we can have a look at what players are available um, and what players have got in the squad. I do know a little bit about West Brom. It's been a long time since I've actually taken control of them, but We'll learn as we go along. Uh, we'll set the scouting up, set up the training, look at the formation, what type of players we've got, what type of players we want, look at what formation and mentality and instructions we're going to use. And next time we'll pick it up, we'll have gone through pre-season and we're ready to start the first game of the season. So, until next time, um, thanks for watching. If you do like the content I'm producing, obviously if you're watching it, um, please, please like and subscribe. Um, Obviously, it, it will help me to know that there's actually people out there wanting to view this content and I'm not just going to be sitting and listening to my own voice constantly. Obviously, if anyone's got any comments, please leave them below. I'll go, I'll go through them, have a look, and if you've got any ideas about players, where we need to send scouts or players that are being played in the wrong position, I'll open up to you. Obviously, you're part of the selection committee, so if, if you guys all come out and say that, um, you know, Solomon Rondon deserves a chance um, up front constantly, then I'll make sure he's in there all the time. Um, but obviously, if, until then, we'll just be letting the board pick. So, until next time, see you later.